Well, hello YouTube, our objective in this tutorial will be to transfer this report when we were just printing data from structure into external textual file. You will probably recognize this source code from tutorial when we were learning about structures. If this is the first time you are in this playlist, uh, this is very simple structure on books with uh, four columns if you use Excel terminology with the title, author and topic and this is just a string and the idea of the book of course that's integer. Here we have just book one, then we are using str copy to transfer strings to individual uh, columns let's say and then we are just printing that stuff. But this is on screen, so question is how to transfer this to external textual file? Well, first we're gonna create here file pointer, very simple stuff. We're gonna use name fp for it or whatever you like and immediately we can open, we can use fopen function to open for writing there some uh, file.txt as I said in a writing mode. Okay, I don't know why I need all this, but uh, there you go. So this is just operation of opening. So question is, will this work? So just as in the last couple of tutorials, we're gonna check uh, if there is some kind of error with uh, fp equals null, and then we will print, in a case of error, print f and unable to write to file. You know this up till now unable to verite to e file. Okay, I think that's cool. A little bit of new line will not hurt us. And all these thingies, now we are going to flush that into else block of code because it's simple. So I'm gonna grab absolutely everything from here and press shift to have that alignment. And that means that we must have curly bracket closing one somewhere up here. Okay, that's cool. So what about that uh, new functions function we are learning? Well, actually we can leave this to see those thingies on a screen and we will just copy paste it down there and change printf to fprintf. So fprintf. And the thing is when you're using this function, we must provide here target and target is that uh, file pointer, that file actually. So that must be a first perimeter right here fp and all those thingies are just unchanged. So I'm gonna copy paste this thing multiple times here for every line and uh, this thing will be on the screen. Why not? Before we uh, put information to us what's happening we can also uh, close. We must actually close that file pointer. Okay and now we can have this piece of instruction or report and in here we can say that data is written to file data written written to a file this is kind of boring but it will work just information to us what is happening and here we can say file closed now you can have if check to check if it's possible to close file but it will work in a most cases so you can wrap this into individual if else block of code but this is simple stuff so it will work anyway where I was right uh, let me see one more time okay let me check the folder where that thing is so there is no at the moment that output file was that the name yeah output file.txt there is none here in the main project of us so now when we run this piece of code hopefully there will be no errors and we do see printing on a screen but also data is written, written to a file and file is closed so yeah let's check the truth of that thing uh, there you go we do have output file.txt and there is a data there of course you can change this custom report here if you like to something else to have some kind of uh, like uh, something that will look like Excel with uh, rows and columns if you have the time you know you can put all kind of vertical and horizontal lines but if you don't have time uh, well and if you're lazy like me then you can just leave it as it is right 
now here is the thing um, see this stuff if you don't want to see it on the screen you can put it just in the comment section uh, multi line comment section or single line whatever you like so you will not see data on the screen and you will see just the results now the thing when you're using this symbol you're basically creating uh, stuff all over again uh, that that file actually so those things will be overwritten okay and also we can use append mode but let me check that one more time there you go there is a, a results there but there is no that printing on a screen in a in a dos so let me delete this and what I was talking about, yeah, yeah, uh, you can append stuff. For example, if we run this, we will get file. And now if we uh, type A here, that means append. If we run this two more times, one and two, we will see all this data like three times there. And uh, yeah, I can actually use some kind of header, but uh, I didn't do that. Anyway, that's not important just like a vertical delimiter there you go uh, here I was talking about vertical delimiter we can do something like that in a code uh, it will be very simple so let me just actually delete this whole file and there it was right here why not we can say actually I'm gonna steal this put it down there this is a target and some kind of uh, this line let's say we're gonna put it right here and that's that's pretty much it guys when we talk about the limiters so yeah you can export this in a constant up here before main but that's uh, something you can do if you have time and nerves and if you're not lazy like me anyway uh, this will work okay one time so the file is created here with A as a as a mode of operation but now if we run this thing multiple times it will be a deed new content will be there but with this vertical separator that will follow how many times we were uh, running this this simple script so did I run that multiple times I don't know my memory is bad oh yeah I did so yeah guys why this is important because first of all it's not that hard in a C and uh, sooner or later you're gonna extract some uh, data from some kind of database and maybe this approach can help you to 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 flush that thing into some other format as a report or something like that right let me beautify this code with control a and the format using a style and now it's aligned as uh, that standard demands i think you can see this if you want to paste this video uh, but if if i zoom out this maybe you will not be able to see everything you know i don't know what kind of resolution you have how much uh, big screen you have so yeah let's back go back to normal something like something like this hopefully you see everything and i'm gonna scroll now so you can catch everything okay right 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 yeah i think we are cool okay guys thank you for watching and uh, as always thank you for support and subscription and see you in the next tutorial ciao ciao